Hey, this is John Young. Today we're looking at a Coleman tent. This is actually two tents in one in this kit. This is their connectable tent system. And I've been kind of looking for an option because we've got a little bit larger family and we've got an RV in the back there, but we needed something that we could throw in a vehicle. So I decided I was gonna check this out. I've been reading the reviews on this and one of the areas in which people talk about is this spot where the two connect. This is a, a modular system is the best way to describe it. So over here, we have our front of the main tent and you've got a nice high, high ceiling here. So I'm gonna just show you, I'm six foot one. I can stand in here. Obviously if there was a little lantern here, I wouldn't be able to be under that. But the idea is that it's got a nice, a nice high ceiling on the, in the main part of it. Then you've got a variety of windows and access doors. So we're going to go in this one because right there is that additional tent right there. So this area is handled between the two by two zippers. One that goes to the right and one goes that goes to the left. You line them up and you got to zip them fairly carefully. There's a little white flap on the outside that can get stuck. But it, it it gets in there, and you can easily just back up. You just have to take your time and go nice and slow. But we can open this side to give you an idea of what this will all be like. Let's see where are we at. I uh, think we are interesting. We've got a stitch there, <laughs> a stitch that has that. Let's go check another door. Let's see if that's just the way they are. No, they're not. So that one has a little stitch in there. I'm going to have to look at that and see, because it should open up just like that. This modular system is designed to have one little add-on here, and the add-on there, and an add-on here. So in this particular case, I could have, if I had multiple of those little rooms, let's look at it from the outside. If I had three of these little rooms, I could literally add three wings onto that main tent. And you have this little awning that is here that is supported by our fiberglass little poles. And you can see that the poles are on both of those. I think that that's how they're supposed to go. It's, a, it's not exactly the greatest instructions, but it seems that there's a little bit of uh, these two that come together. This is that white that I was talking about that gets in the zipper just a little bit, but it was very easy to back up. Just try to help, I tried to hold it to the side as I was zipping and it went very well. But there's some elastic here and the elastic should flip over top like that of one side or the other. So it looks like that's how it's supposed to go, but the directions aren't exactly the most accurate or specific. So we have our three outdoor spots. I didn't bother to put the piece on. I didn't bother to put the rain fly on because I really just wanted to get an idea of what this was going to be like. Now what's kind of neat about this is that these openings will work with the smaller tent or you could add a second big one and then continue on from there. So it can become this little sprawling camping mansion thing going on as you are going around your campsite. So you can have a lot of space, but specifically you're going to have privacy because we've got our spot over there that they could go, you know, kids could go in there, zip up that tent because it'll unzip on, and obviously that zipper isn't, isn't uh there we go we'll bring that zipper all the way down because it's, it hasn't set wasn't set up yet but then once it's it's down and, and ready to go let's see i must be right about to the connection there where the two zippers are and it should go all the way yeah i've got zipper all the way to the end here so i can bring this thing on There, much easier with two hands. And it really opens things up. And this would open up well also, except for that spot right there where there's a couple of stitches holding onto that. And again, I don't know if I want to cut 
or what I'm going to do with that because I don't want to really damage the thread. Okay, just to drop this back in here, that was the spot that was flawed with those literally two stitches. And I called Coleman, and because of where they're at, they're going to cause damage if I if I go and uh, cut the stitches out. So I called Coleman, and they are sending out a fully a fully new piece. So they're going to replace the fabric on the tent and and handle that basically for free. It'll be here in seven days. So. I'll uh, be able to go and, and camp. Won't have to worry about that problem, and we should have a good time. So hats off to Coleman. Let's finish this video. But that's that's kind of what this is in a nutshell. It's a nice nice size area. We've got you know, as I'm in a corner here. You've got you've got maybe eight ten feet of of space. And I, again, I don't have it staked down. I just put it on the patio area here, so I could set it up and get a look at it because we're looking at this and a second tent for our summer camping. So hopefully for those of you who are wondering about this, um, the, one of the biggest issues they talk about again is where these two zippers line up. Some people have had problems with those. They were they lined up fine, you, just like a an older style jacket where you insert the zipper and just carefully zip it up and it was fine. The biggest problem of, obviously we found was that little stitch and I'll have to check the other doors and see if there were any other little flaws like that. But other than that, it's kind of a nice looking little system. We'll put a link in the description below so you can check this out. And again, you can add, this was kind of the starter kit and you can add other accessories, but you can also add a second starter kit and have, and that's literally what you see over there is the second box, which is the second one of these, because that way we could go and add another big one on the back or on the other side, and then have a small one off that, so we could really have space if we got into a situation where we had the whole family with us out camping. This is John Young. Thank you for watching.